Five Big Lies About Diabetes Why so many people talk myths about this disease? It is a very common disease. Millions of people around the world have diabetes, and many other millions do not know they have the disease. So I'm going to tell you, and I'm going to comment why every sentence I'm going to say is a lie. The first sentence, only obese people or overweight people develop diabetes. Why is this a lie? Because diabetes is multifactorial. Speaking of type 2 diabetes, there are several factors that lead to the development of diabetes. Among them, genetics, the environment, if you are sedentary, if you have a very bad diet, weight, so the lifestyle, there are several factors that lead to the appearance of diabetes. If it's type 1 diabetes, it's an autoimmune disease. It's also not directly related to weight because the body itself ends up attacking the cells that produce insulin, so your body can no longer produce insulin. In type 2 diabetes, which is what I was talking about, there are several factors the body becomes resistant to insulin. You even have insulin, but insulin can't have the action it should have. What insulin does, it removes the sugar from the blood and puts it inside the tissues, inside the muscles, for you to get energy. So type 2 diabetes and type 1 diabetes don't only appear in obese people. This is a big myth. Lie number 2. There is no way to reverse diabetes. It's also a lie. Because if it's type 2 diabetes and you make all the modifications, modify your lifestyle, for example, make all the disease control, you have the chance to have diabetes reversal to go from diabetic to non-diabetic. This is what the American Society of Diabetes says, which is our main scientific reference. And what would be the criteria to consider that someone has reversed diabetes? Three months without medication, with a glucose level less than 6.5. What would be the criteria for diabetes for glucose? Up to 5.6 is a normal result, 5.7 to 6.4 pre-diabetes, and greater than or equal to 6.5 diabetes. Remembering that the exam needs to be repeated more than once, only an exam does not confirm the disease. This is very important. Why? because there may be a laboratory error. At that moment, the device is out of order. Several situations that lead the patient to have a diagnosis of diabetes without having diabetes. So it's very important to repeat and confirm the exam. But anyway, if your doctor decided that you don't need to use medication, and even so you keep a good glycemic control, there is a criterion for reversing diabetes. Type 1 diabetes will be true because if you have type 1 diabetes, you will need to use insulin there will be no way to cure or reverse diabetes and run out of insulin. So, in type 1 diabetes, insulin is mandatory. Why? Because the beta cells of the pancreas that produce insulin were attacked, your own body killed them, and they don't produce anymore. So there is no alternative treatment and no way to reverse type 1 diabetes. There are many studies. I always say that medicine is a science of transitive truths. So far, there is no cure for type 1 diabetes, but there are studies with stem cells in the test phase that aim to cure type 1 diabetes. But it's still a truth. So there is a way to reverse type 2 diabetes in selected cases. I've seen many patients who reverse type 2 diabetes, but for type 1 diabetes it's still a promise. So there is no cure for type 1 diabetes. Let's make a goal of likes for this video. 2,000 likes because there are many people who have diabetes and live with these myths, with these lies, and it is very important that you help me distribute this content. I'm not sponsored by any pharmacy. I'm not sponsored by the pharmaceutical industry, so I do not do any kind of advertising here on the channel. My content is not influenced by any kind of economic bias. I do not accept sponsorship from the pharmaceutical industry. Lie number three, the diabetic cannot eat simple carbohydrates and cannot eat fruits. My God, I do not know who said that, but many people have this vision. The diabetic can eat carbohydrates, including simple carbohydrates, but he needs to moderate. He needs to avoid. This has to be the exception. It cannot be the rule. So in selected events, for example, if it is according to your diet, they can be consumed. I made a video about the 10 best fruits for diabetics and also the 5 worst, and many people commented, my God, I will not be able to eat more. No, you can have a diet including several fruits, several carbohydrates. But if you have diabetes, you need to have a greater moderation, that you avoid certain foods, but they are not prohibited. The diabetic can eat fruit, can eat carbohydrates, and must have a balanced diet. This is the key to controlling the disease. It is one of the steps to control the disease. So there is no food prohibited for the diabetic. Number four, this lie worries me a lot, and it is the lie that I see that people believe in it the most. Because if you have diabetes, if you just had a diagnosis, for example, or are going through some complication of the disease, you will be more vulnerable to believe in certain lies. And the big lie, our number four lie, is about the videos, about the subjects, 
saying, Control diabetes in five minutes. For God's sake, people, do not believe in it. Do not even enter this type of content, because there is no way to control diabetes in minutes. Diabetes control is a series of factors that you have to modify, that you have to do, to be able to control the disease or even reverse it, as we are talking. So, this story of uh, control diabetes with this product, with this supplement, even with medication, there is no medication in the world. I say this with the greatest propriety because I deal with diabetes and study diabetes every day, and there is no medication in the world capable of controlling diabetes in five minutes or in a few minutes. Diabetes control is done through two months. There are several months for you to control. Just for you to have an idea, the glycated hemoglobin test that I talked about at the beginning of this video, it will take an average of 90 to 120 days for you to have a real improvement in the test. So you already have a notion that really if you want to control diabetes, you have to avoid these false promises, these false gurus that end up influencing you to buy some product, some supplement that will not have any function and on the contrary it will harm you because you will believe in it, you will spend your money, you will spend your health and there will be no results. So there is no way to control diabetes in a few minutes. This is the big lie and the lie that bothers me the most because I see people believe in it, delude themselves with it all the time. There are several contents on the internet itself that I am using here to promote scientific evidence, but there are people who use it for evil, so there is no such thing, okay? Get this out of your head. Stop looking for quick solutions for diabetes, because only through two months, every day you do a series of factors, you will be able to control diabetes number five. And our last lie of today's video, which is about the emotional factor. Many people say that emotions do not interfere with diabetes control. They do interfere. This is already proven because when you are stressed, you are going through a difficult situation of emotional instability. Your body will secrete, will produce more cortisol, will produce more adrenaline, and these hormones in a proven way raise your blood sugar, raise your blood glucose. So it is true that emotions interfere with diabetes control. If you are diabetic and this happens to you when you are stressed, when you go through difficult periods, you notice that your blood sugar rate increases put it in the comments that I always like to know. Now emotional diabetes, this type of emotional diabetes, it does not exist because only emotions, only stress, it cannot cause diabetes. We have already seen that diabetes is multifactorial. So just for that, you will not have diabetes. Now if you have diabetes, your emotional side will interfere with your diabetes control, blood sugar, blood glucose control. This is true. It is a myth that emotions do not interfere. Now I will leave a suggestion for you to watch, which is a video where I talk about 12 tips on how to control diabetes, how you will have greater control of the disease. It's pretty cool. I put a lot of scientific evidence in a very clear way for you to enjoy this video here.